Welcome back everyone to episode 12 of Let's Play Rule the Waves as Austria-Hungary. I just began the battle so we can see I've only gone 13 minutes into the fight, so not, didn't miss anything but I wanted to advance and get the speeds all set up just to save from a bit of the tedium. Hmm. I have a nice hot cup of tea with me so this is going to be a great fight, I can tell. Actually I'm pretty worried because <laughs> Our rallying cry this series so far has been the St. George. She's been with us for every fight. Every single one. Um, including the one that we lost, but in general she's been just invaluable to us. Scouting, drawing fire, killing light cruisers in like a single hit. <laughs> yeah, so uh, it's a little sad that we don't have her with her. Instead we have the Sigitvar, uh, which unfortunately I would say is kind of the opposite of the St. George. She hasn't been performing particularly well. She's taking a lot of hits, and anyway. So right now we ran into the Italian scouting force, and we're just going to draw them in. Once they see our battleships, I suspect that they will decide <clears throat> this is not the right engagement for them, but because they are being so overzealous, we're going to go ahead and go up to squad max and see if they react. In fact, let's just head directly at them. I'm trying to let the battle line form or maintain its shape. So Sigisvar is actually still maintaining course. Good. You have to go up to 19. It looks like the they finally are turning away. So let's head them off. And yeah, they're going to turn around. And that's a destroyer escort for her. Interesting. Very interesting. So let's uh, go ahead and just keep pushing on that. Even if we only get our front um, guns off, which is probably the case, if there's any chance of us uh, getting some hits off, which maybe there's a small chance, this is pretty long range for our ships. Now we do have pretty darn good crews at this point, um, but uh, I don't think that you'll be able to hit from this this far. Uh, <laughs> anyway, I'm just really excited. I know that this series, uh, the battles have been a little stale. I think so. And this war has dragged on. It's really time for us to get new. We want new ships so we can see how those work. If I get to the end of this battle, what we're going to do is start building some new ships. So if that's enough of a cliffhanger to leave you interested in following the remainder of this battle for the next probably 20 minutes or so, then uh, so be it. But if not, then don't worry about it. Because I understand, that I think that these battles have all just, they're all going the same general way. Um, we again are going to have to worry about eventually going into nighttime because it seems like even starting at midday is not sufficient. So, we did get a hit on the Nembo class, but it doesn't look like it was enough. Oh, it, is, it does say heavy damage, but she's still going 20 knots. Is that for real? Yep, it's real. So, we'll just keep pushing towards them. Eventually, we're going to run into their main fleet, which is why I'm trying to keep the Sigets Bar a little bit further ahead so that I can actually get accurate scouting information as we approach. This is going to be the important thing. Okay, so here they are. I think we just immediately turn in and set up our line so that we can we're we're ready when the main draw comes. I'm even gonna I'm even going to slow down to 18. I really do assume that this is the main line. So let's. You no, know, that is just a front runner of the main line. So we'll we'll turn back. Interesting, I wonder what... Ah, there they are. Okay, so now we've seen the main line. The question is, do we want to head west or east? It doesn't really matter. We're nowhere near our homeland, so there's no favorable direction for us, really. I think we'll go ahead and turn west because we already are. But um, it doesn't really matter, I think. So let's get our light cruisers to close back in. We'll form our, our tortoise formation. Get our light cruisers to protect us from any... Um, possible torpedo runs by their destroyers. And uh, good, so this is uh, turning, let's turn a little bit, we'll head this direction for a little bit longer, but probably very soon. We wanna close, we wanna get close enough that we can actually use our um, guns effectively. Cause I, oh, huh, I don't know what I'm doing with the tiger here. Let's go ahead and encourage torpedo launching because hopefully we have enough daytime that that'll actually be a thing. And now let's just keep going like this. Light cruiser is going to protect the left side. The Sigetsvar is going to come in and hopefully protect our other side. 
And you guys are going a little too fast now. Thank you, slow down. We need the lines formed up. And it looks like the lines are forming, so we'll we'll keep driving at them. Unfortunately, we're only getting get front turds off, so yeah, I'm gonna turn a little bit more. Let's get these guys to go to like 18 so that we can effectively form that line. Let these guys catch up a little bit. There it is. Okay, good. So now everything's going according to plan. We're getting, we should be getting a full broadside off. That's weird. Turn a little more. Still now, huh? Now they are doing that weird thing where they roll off. Let's actually take a look at what they have here. Two battleships and three more battleships. I think that's the entirety of their battleship fleet. So it would be spectacular to secure some kind of kill here. Now the same could be said about us. I mean, we have, I think, five battleships left as well, but um, hey, one of those goes down. One of our one of ours goes down and puts us back in the hole, and we just clawed out. <laughs> we just finally edged a lead in how the public views the war, which I'm just, that's my abstraction of the victory point count, or, or how the how the war is perceived by everyone in general, um, including how the military people will negotiate a peace from that, or how the leaders will negotiate peace. So we're, we're ahead in those counts. Now this is good. I think we have a good formation here. Let them come. Let, the com let them come in. Unfortunately, we have the Franz Ferdinand, which is our 11-inch guns version, but uh, Besides that, I, I, I like our chances here. They're coming in at weird, ooh, got a lower belt edge hit. That's really not good. Usually causes flooding, but it looks like it didn't penetrate. So even though it still caused damage though. Hmm. So we'll go ahead and turn up north and kind of run with them a little bit, expecting that eventually their lines will come back down to meet us. Okay, good. So this is useful if their Roma class does turn like that. It'll give us a little more time. They're kind of cycling these ships in. It's very strange. We want to go all the same direction now, if you would, please. Very good. Yeah. And this is a nice smaller fleet engagement for me. Uh, it's a lot easier to, for me to control a total of only five divisions. We should be getting some hits. This is like the perfect time to score hits, but no such luck so far. There's a hit, but that's from our Admiral Spawn of all people. Not who you wanted to hit with. Okay, well, let's go ahead and pursue. Begin turning our line north. The Vienne is not doing very well. <laughs> She's kind of in bad shape. Okay, they've turned back this way, so now we have to turn back and reform the line. Let these guys go down 17. Yeah, they've actually formed a pretty good line against us in the end. Okay, that was not good. Some pretty severe hits on the uh, Zrinyi, but she's stable for the moment. There we go. And these guys are going probably a little too fast. Let's take them out of 20. Even 19 for this one. Put them up to 18 here. Very good. Okay, so now they're doing the same thing where they're zigzagging. We're going to try to stay on course for a little bit. I'm going to correct this one, but I just want to try to get some hits off. It doesn't matter on what. I just want to proceed steady as we go, and we are the ones still getting hit. Which is, I mean, that's really sad. It's, it's, considering all the chaos and confusion, it is dead calm, so the wind is not helping us, although it would if there was some. Yeah, we'll just pull out here, and I think we'll just... Rev turn the battle line around, like completely about face. No. Turn 
turn you guys around, you. you just go that way, it doesn't matter. Yeah, so we want to actually still come towards them, but we want the VN to become form the line again. Very good. Okay, let's have the Sigus Four actually start coming back. All right, the ex we executed the maneuver well. This is just going to be one of those fights that we just don't engage. <laughs> they seem very reluctant to engage us, even though they have a battleship advantage. And I don't know what to do about that. Obviously, I don't want to pursue them indefinitely at high speed. I don't think either of our, our navies want this long chase, or maybe, maybe they do want that. I mean, they seem just extremely reluctant to engage here. Hmm. Well, the only way we can kind of force this engagement is by heading right at them. So in order to do that, let's get our light cruisers back up to full speed. We will need them to protect. Because we do have a smaller formation, so it should be easier for us to um, turn and face. Alright, fine. I'm going to take off torpedo launching because it's just annoying to see that. We don't need it. Okay, what are they going to choose to do? Will they turn in? <laughs> this is awkward. Very awkward. Okay, I mean, <laughs> in all of the chaos, we actually scored a hit. Yeah, this is probably where they will turn their torpedo ships at us. And I'm still even okay with that, because the visibility is good enough. I hope we can mow them down before anything happens. But I really like our, our direction. I think they're trying to turn to get off broadsides, but they're not turning enough to actually achieve that. Okay, let's get you down to 20, turn away, 20 as well, get you down to 19. So we can, I mean, I'm willing to pick off anything here. Anything which will cause them to lower the chance that they can blockade us. We're, we're in pretty good shape here. Okay, let's actually let this light cruiser run out a little bit. We'll let both of them run out, see if we can get any kind of action here. This Napoli class is really lagging. Okay, do we just continue to engage this Napoli class? Has it been damaged or something? No, 20 knots suggests that it, she's moving at top speed. I wonder if the AI ships can also succumb to uh, grates, that they need grate cleaning. Okay, we're going to make a slight course correction here to stay kind of on them. All right, well, here we go. Charge. Here we go. See if anything happens, or I'll have to pause. They did change course. We did get, oh yeah, six inch guns hits are not as important. The haps we actually got hit. It's nice, I've kind of, uh, I've rearranged my, um, my line ordering so that everyone's kind of getting equally hit, <laughs> so. It would be so nice if we just landed a, a, a critical hit somehow, though. So we can see them kind of turning, so that we're going to preemptively... Whoops. Okay. No, I keep not clicking on the one I want. Control always a bit of a fickle matter in this game. Another hit on the Habsburg, but not a penetration. Okay, we have, obviously... People engaging the Sigurd's fire, which is not good. Turn her away. Turn her back. Roma was hit. 
by an 11 inch gun. Not bad, very good. It's, it's what we want here. Oh, whoops. Um, Nate, so super sharp belt extended his hit. Deck was also hit by the splinters. I thought that splinters can't penetrate two inches of deck armor. Huh. Is it two and a half? Hmm. Maybe it depends on the gun size that splinters. I mean, which would make sense, but I thought that splinters can't penetrate more than two inches. Maybe they can penetrate two inches and then anything more of that would be safe. I, I, I don't know. Obviously, I'm mistaken with two inches because our splinters just hurt our deck. So this is interesting. I don't know what eventually is going to happen here because this is a silly engagement. Just sporadic. But I think statistically, this is a good engagement for us. That overall, we should this should be an advantage. Because I think our gunnery crew are better. That's my... That's the, um, that's what I'm operating under here. The premise I'm operating under. Otherwise I wouldn't close like this since they do outnumber us. So that's the premise and here we go. Let's find out if it's true or not. Probably our <laughs> front guns are gonna be out of commission pretty soon as far as ammo goes. And when that happens, you know, we can just turn back. How are we doing? Yeah, we're about halfway through it. Even if we could somehow manage to get a few hits on their destroyers, I mean, okay, so great cleaning starting to become an issue. The VN is at her maximum speed at 18, so 18 is still fine. That's what I asked for to begin with. Even if I can just cause them to do something, you know, other than staying in this bundled mess, which, by the way, would make an amazing target for your shells. <laughs> you know, you fire and you have a chance of hitting, I mean, look at it, if you fire this Italian class, you have a chance of hitting like three ships. I don't think that's modeled in, unfortunately. Oh. Oh dear. Another unknown ship. Okay, near miss. We are beginning to close to the point where we almost get broadsides off. Which is good news. Kind of bad news for my light cruiser group, but... <laughs> they've just marched themselves all the way up and practically into the enemy formation. We're not even going the fa as fast as we can. All right, good, so let's just see how this works out. So it's a bold plan. Yes, this is kind of what I'm hoping for. Just land these small hits on the... Okay, that's not as good, of course, there's a near miss. Okay, but statistically, I still stand by what I'm saying, that we should eventually hit them more than they hit us. That's what my gunnery crew training was for. And there it is. Two more hits. On this Roma class, probably not a whole lot of... Now, they're getting full broadsides off now. Are we? Yes. Okay, so it's broadside to broadside. This is awesome. I mean, I could have looked here. They're getting four guns off, and, well, we're only getting two with our Zrinyi. Yeah, she can only get two. Oh, one of hers is disabled, that makes sense. But the Vienne is not disabled, and she can't. Huh. Okay, well, fair enough. Our light cruisers are right next to their whole destroyer group, which is, I mean, perfect, right? That's <laughs> right, exactly what we'd want. Okay, Napoli hit the six inch guns. Not, and there's their heavy cruisers. Now this could be bad. This might be the cue for us to pull off because their heavy cruisers are gonna come right at our light cruisers. So we're gonna have to turn here and just preemptively try to protect our light cruisers. But we'll get to go squad max. Their Napoli hit. Okay, how's your speed though? This is the important thing. Okay, down to 20, it's still good. Basically, I guess we'll just ride this battle. Okay, that was a few good Italia hits. Which, which Italia? And another one, okay, so that's three 12 inch hits. And this is why I think we can just disengage. I mean, it's not the most exciting engagement, unfortunately. <laughs> I apologize, but there's nothing you can do. That They've just been fleeing from me the whole time. I'm just trying to run them down. 
another PR success, right? You can imagine the newspapers saying, oh, we're about to run into land. This could be interesting. They're definitely heading for port, though, and we could run into a mine or something. So I suspect that this will be over very soon. Let's go down to 20. Yeah, keep, keep pounding away, good boys, because uh, this is the end of it. This is the end of the engagement for us. We need to clean our grates anyway. Okay, well, boring engagement. Bummer. This is going to give us a little time in this video to actually begin with the ship designs, though, and that's kind of cool. So since we're about to run into um, the landmass here, which they will also kind of run into, we're going to... I'm going to cheese this a little bit. I'm going to... to preemptively put myself in a position to be right below them and swing in. Very good. So this won't be effective immediately, but in a second it should be. Knowing that their retarded AI will just run into the wall. This is probably not going to give me an advantage as much as it's just going to be a chance for us to engage, which that's what I'd prefer. They are smart enough to turn, it looks like, so that'll be the end of this engagement, it looks like. I mean, they're going to have the same problem at this edge, but I don't think we're moving fast enough to take advantage of this. We'll just get our broadsides off for the all for as much time as we can. Oh, the SIG is far so close. Okay, uh, yeah, be a little bit careful. Set this guy to AI controlled if he wants to launch torpedoes, that'd be great, but... We're not going to force the Sigisvar into such a position. We're so close to. Would have been really nice, but oh well, that's fine. And as they roll off, we'll just let them continue to roll off. Okay, that is a light cruiser that's stuck. We'll take advantage of anything we can. That light cruiser, that's the money one. We're going to get one ship out of this. Woohoo! Will they come back for her? No, I don't think so. Maybe. I have no idea what's going to go on. So, so this is good. <laughs> We're going to start hitting this ship. It's a little cheesy, but whatever. They did kind of do some weird maneuver here. It could buy us a little bit of time. Ah, uh, yeah, we're down to only 17 now. Get these guys to engage this CL. No, Toronto. Yeah, there it is. Oops. We're the ones taking damage now. I got to sneeze. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, well, like I said, a PR success, right? Because they, they didn't want to engage us. Which we report as a victory. Let's get that. Just try for this Toronto class as much as we can. Because we did land a few good hits on her. I was hoping that we could do some serious, more serious damage. Although, yeah, this is dangerous. Okay, alright. We'll turn off. We will kind of technically round out the corner better. This Toronto might have even taken some damage. She does look like she's going slower. So let's continue to try to beat her down. I'm extending the episode for the for sole purposes of just capturing a, uh, or killing a light cruiser, but it's all we have. It's all we have. We have done quite a few things. Yeah, she's got heavy damage. Just swing in call this episode to a close because it's it's impossible to engage a fleet that just has decided they don't want to engage you. We don't we're not that fast, you know. So we'll just swing around, knock these guys out, and that'll be the end of this episode. Well, it'll be the end of this engagement, but then we can actually go to ship designs. So there's been a lot of interesting comments about like what to do. Ooh. Interesting. 
lot of uh, what should we build? It's j I mean, it's clear that we need to build something, right? But this is somewhat dangerous, to be honest. Are these guys all engaging this destroyer? Because you should be. I would, at this point, prefer to see... Yeah, we're well within torpedo range. <laughs> this crazy, crazy destroyer, man. <laughs> For God's sakes, somebody end his life. That should do it. Okay, and this one's moving, so let's just try to go squad max, get catch up to her. This destroyer's obviously dead, there it goes. Okay, let's try to get in, if we can. Yeah, so we need to actually try to eliminate this guy before he gets back to port. Just sucks, you know, he was left behind. This is like uh, hunting in the Serengeti. <clears throat> the lions all swarm after uh, the slowest, uh, the slowest, whatever, slowest of their prey. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. That's fine. This looks convincing to me. Very good. So let's set these guys to AI control. Oh, these are the main. So, oh, no, they aren't. Yeah, good. So let's set these guys to AI control. Set everyone to AI control, and then we'll just control our battle fleet here. Which will slow down to 14. Because at this point, this is a. Uh, this one's over. Alright. Go up to fast and run continuously. And it was getting to be nighttime anyway, so it's pretty good time. Let's try to backtrack as well, so we try not to hit a mine. All right, so uh, Saint George. I think it's it's well determined that Saint George has been a very successful class. Now it's going to take a long time for those to build, unfortunately. So I don't think it's a good idea actually for us to try to build more Saint Georges right now, just because we'll be able to get a better design when the war ends. And by the time this war ends, we there's just no way, <laughs> there's just no way we'll be able to construct one. So a minor victory, we didn't expect much more than that. Um, and good. Good, the first three damaged battleships were theirs. I'm hoping that means that if anybody has to stay in port, it's theirs and not my battleship. Okay, good, just another 500 points. It staves off the blockade, which is still going on, for, for the love of God. We need to clear our friendly waters. <sighs> okay, so let's go into design and think about... Basically, I want to figure out... Let's just look at build ship real fast. How long does it take to, to build these guys? A minesweeper takes... Oh my gosh, even a minesweeper takes 14 months. But, actually, a destroyer only takes 12 months. I don't think the war will still be going on then, but... I think it's time for us to build a Tiger II. <laughs> That's our old design, but I think it's time for a new destroyer. Um, we've seen that torpedoes are not effective quite yet, so we're going to make this one almost based on the reverse principle that guns are more important. Whoops. <clears throat> so let's see. Two, wow, two five inch guns. That's. That would be a very powerful destroyer. Only two torpedoes, though. That doesn't strike me as a good idea. Let's try to let's clear these mounts and let's get three on there, or four actually. I think what were we at in terms of tonnage? Yeah, we're not doing very well. So let's go with a R and V. Oh, let's go with Q V, and then let's do port and starboard. Something like this. What does this look like? It's pretty congested. Does this... Hmm. Ah, 5-inch guns. Okay, yeah, so we, we can't use these guns anyway. 
And if we use any guns, it seems like 3-inch guns are going to be just as effective against destroyers. They'll fire a little faster. I have quality 1, so that's that's the advantage here. Now let's see what it says. All okay. So they're allowing us to use this many. Um, actually, it was the perfect amount. But I, I want to move this these um, forward a little bit. Let's see. For, forward, port, starboard, port, starboard. So let's try these and then do the same. Let's see what this looks like. No, I don't like that. So let's clear this Q mount. Oops. Add the W. What does this look like? That's really close together, so let's get rid of the V. And add the R. Okay, so let's actually just move this I and H and I forward. Try this. That's better. Okay, I don't know if that plays any has any role in anything, but that's what we're gonna do. And this ship is actually already perfect. We're of course gonna take the ammo up a little bit as much as we can. Okay, so 180. That seems good. Speed of 29. We'll make these guys. Is my other destroyer? I can't remember now. Medium range or short range? It's probably short range. Yeah, we're gonna make this short range anyway. Cramped and short range, which go hand in hand. If we're not going to move them, we don't need to move them at all if they're only going to stay in home waters. And this is going to be a home waters lady. So can we squeeze another knot out of it? We can. We can get this to 30. Fantastic. We can even get a little bit more. Let's take this up until 10 drops. Okay, 215. I really like this ship. Probably it'd be better to get more than three torpedoes off per side, but this is still a total of four torpedoes, which isn't bad. And torpedoes are so kind of inconsequential right now. A speed of 30 is massive. So we'll save this. And I think that that's a perfect thing. We'll go ahead to the build dialog. And we'll get how many... Let's get 10 of these. <clears throat> we just need something quick. Don't take intel down to medium. It doesn't seem to be doing much. Okay, well, still going to be a long time before these are finished. In fact, our battleships are actually coming into range being finished. Well, what else do we have? Let's see. The Jupiter, 12 inch, that's fine. Oh, good. Well, that one's not particularly useful, but it's another technology out of ship design. I, I have to sneeze. <coughs> Man. Sorry about that. Oh, good. Oh, well, well, I mean, hey, I'm happy if any ships are sunk. This probably had a negative effect on our victory point situation, but Heavy Cruiser was sunk. Convoy Defense, defense it's going to be minor. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to call this video to a close. I'm going to play this Convoy Defense off camera, just so we can try to wield down their superior forces. Because it says, excuse me, it says it's only one Heavy Cruiser to one Heavy Cruiser. So very excited to have um, the new... Panther class coming in. We really sound like the German tank line, but um, our tanks, I mean, our destroyers have performed far worse than the German tanks of the same name. So, so that's going to be, that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, I'm, I'm hopefully going to be at the end of war in the next episode so we can start designing all kinds of new ships because I feel like this war with Italy has gone on long enough. But anyway, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more. Hopefully we'll be done with more soon, and we can, uh, we need to honor the St. George somehow. If you have recommendations for that, we've already had a, you know, I think we'll, we just won't scrap her. Should we build more St. George classes? Should we call the next class of heavy cruisers the St. George II? That was what I think would be a fitting um, gesture for the, for the good old ship that has really seen us through quite a few combats. If you have any thoughts on that, go ahead and leave them in the comments. And other than that, I will catch you in the next video.